Hey, it's Porik here from the Tog Blog, and today we're doing some Lightroom Rescue. Uh, apologies, you can hear a slight hum in the background. I uh, have a computer running there, so sorry about that. Now, this picture was sent in from uh, Kieran from Facebook, um, and he was basically asking me what I could do to improve this picture. Now, the picture is structurally sound uh, in regards to like, the rule of thirds, and it has that there, and it has the frame within the frame, which is something I really like. Um, but I think for the details in the picture itself, not the composition, um, need to be maybe improved. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's get started, and I'm going to uh, bring the exposure down just a little bit. It's too much. Okay, I'm going to bring the highlights down here. And I'm going to pump the shadows up a little bit. The whites, I'm going to... I'm going to take that kind of over castness in his face away a little bit so and I'm going to bring the try and bring a bit more detail out into the barks okay clarity is something you should always be careful about when you're you know messing with a picture if you do too much you're gonna end up with something that's ridiculous but if you get it just right it can give you just the effect you're looking for and in this case I want to make the bark pop out and I want that bush or whatever it is in the background there behind the tiger uh, to to have more kind of presence to it. So I'm going to put the vibrance up, uh, not too much, just a little bit. Now, um, next I'm going to go to the adjustment tool, or brush, as we call it. Now, effect here is exposure, and I want to change this to sharpness. Here we go, because what I want to do is sharpen up the face of the tiger, I want to sharpen up the bark, and, you know, maybe a few other things. But for now, we're just going to do the tiger. So, with that selected, I have sharpness enabled or selected as in the effect. And I'm just going to brush around the face a little bit. Try to be careful here that you don't go outside the lines, I mean, as, as much as possible. I'm just going to do the kind of chest area and the head and the ear. The ear particular, I want to bring out. So, as you can see, uh, our mask is there. And that's just about right. And I'm going to bring the sharpness a good bit up here for this because I really want his face to pop out I'm going to do the same with clarity I'm going to bring clarity up just a little bit and I think the highlights can just be just about there and now let's see what happens when we bring the contrast up okay that's too much so just about there and we could even mess with exposure because we've selected this particular area using the adjustment brush so it's not going to affect the whole picture I'm just going to double click back in there and reset it to normal that's just about fine so I'm going to click close and I'm going to click the adjustment brush again and this time for sharpness I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to do the back of the tree so I'm brushing away I'm trying to stay within the lines but to you know get the whole the whole lot of the tree in without actually touching anything else or messing around with other things now I'm going to just go down and under here and I'm just going to brush away when you're using the adjustment brush um, it's always a good idea to you know do the changes bit by bit rather than at the start and then brush them in so for example for this I want to do sharpness so I'm going to bring the sharpness up and the clarity up just to match it a little bit and I might even bring the highlights up for this just to make the trees, the barks, whatever, just pop out a little more uh, highlights. Okay, that's fine. And I'm gonna, I want to get the... Uh, where's the contrast? I want to get the contrast up a little bit as well. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to click close. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring the blacks, big, blacks a bit more back. And just there. That's too much. Just about there. Give Lightroom a second to kick that in. Okay, now the background here, the colours aren't the best. And I'm going to show you a little tip here for adjusting the uh, colours for that. So you want to go into HSL, make sure you have saturation selected. And you see this little colour picker here? Or this little circle thing here? Click on that. Then click on the colour you want to increase or decrease as the case may be. Left click hold down 
and if I increase the greens here you can see what happens the greens absolutely positively pop now that's a little bit too much so I'm gonna come back just a bit just up a tiny bit more and there so we can see now the greens have popped out and I want to continue on now with the sky and other things so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a another adjustment brush and except this time in adjustment brush I'm gonna go to exposure because I want to adjust the exposure and it's mostly for the area surrounding the tiger and I'm gonna make the brush smaller using square bracket I'm just gonna go in there and start brushing away just a little bit not too much and I'm gonna do the same on the other side just to bring that down a little bit okay so now if I go into the exposure and I bring that down you see it just dulls out the area behind them and personally I just think it brings the tiger into focus a little bit more um, so oops so that's what I'm gonna do and bring it down just a little bit more that's it now that's perfect okay so I think what we need here is the sky to be fixed now there's a few ways I could do this I could close on this and the effect takes place and I can make another adjustment brush and go up here but I'm actually gonna just for an effect that I have in mind for this picture I'm going to um, work on something here so I'm going to go to graduated filter and up here I'm just gonna drag this in there and I just want to bring the exposure down and let's see what happens there okay that's too much okay so all we want is a kind of a level across the the picture itself excuse me so that's just still too much we can also bring the highlights down here because remember the highlights are going to have an effect on that white area okay in actual fact that's fine that's going to do me so I'm going to close this now I'm going to go to adjustment brush again and this time I'm going to pick clarity there we go and again I'm just going to go to the barks here because I think the barks have a lot more to offer the bark of the trees have a lot more to offer in regards to detail but I don't want the whole picture to have the same kind of detail I want these to stick out a little bit I think we might need a bit of a crop on the right hand side bark but we'll see how that goes for now I'm going to bring the contrast up a little bit as well and just give it a second for Lightroom to do its thing okay and then click close okay so one of the effects that I really don't like to do um, here but I'm going to show you how to do it um, is a vignette effect. Now I wouldn't use it for every picture but I've, as we've dulled up the top I want to kind of match the level of darkness around the whole thing and I think it will add to the picture and make the tiger stick out even. So I'm going to bring the amount down um, that's too much, just a little bit less than that. Okay and I'm going to bring the feather you see back a little bit nope, forward a little bit we go I want the vignette to actually like be part of the picture and not something that looks you know fake and artificial so I'm gonna bring the roundness up a little bit as well and again I'm just trying to take the harshness of the vignette away but, you know make it keep the reason why we want it there and I'm gonna just pump the highlights of the vignette a little bit too okay now I'm gonna go back to the picture because I think now we can bring the exposure up a little bit that's a lot better. Now I'm going to try a crop here because I think with a bit of the sky peeking through and down here the roundness you know kind of shape lose lose the shape as well so I'm going to try a crop and I really don't want it that strong and I don't want it that you know too much so I'm going to just barely bring it to there okay let's try that okay I think that works a lot better now as you see I'll press Y and you can have a look at the before and after what we set out to do has really really come through we've taken the tiger which was blown out a little bit overexposed 
um, and just kind of sank into the picture, didn't really, you know, didn't become the focus of the picture. Uh, we've taken the greens in the background and made them pop a little bit, um, and we've darkened on that sky enough to take the focus away from the sky back onto the tiger, and with the vignette effect all around, that just suits the whole theme of the picture now. Taking the clarity of the bark and the detail in the bark has been perfect. I think that I'm really happy with that because we've taken both the saturation, the colour, the clarity and the sharpness into the bark and we've, you know, really pushed it as a frame within a frame picture. And look at the detail on the tiger's face if I compare the two. And this is this is especially will be seen on the, the ear. Um if we look at the detail on the left hand side of before, it's all fuzzy, it's all, you know, whatever it is. And on the right hand side it's a lot sharper, a lot more clarity in there and some uh, contrast adjustments to bring that out as well, same with the eye. So all in all I'm completely and really happy with that. Um, I think if anything we could probably bring the clarity down just a little, but I I think it would be minuscule just, just to take away the you know, the sharpness. But all in all, if you look at the two pictures you'll see that in the after picture, at least I hope so anyway, um, that the tiger just jumps out at you more. Sticks out more in the picture, and I think the fact that he's in between, you know, two barks of a tree or whatever it might be a log, I think the fact that you know that's there just sticks out a lot more, and he pops out, and the detail in the bark is there to be seen as well. So thanks very much to Kieran on Facebook. He sent me this image, and I'll be sending this uh, after image back to you if you want to keep it as well. Um, and if you have an email, if you have, big pardon, a JPEG or a RAW file. That you want me to edit in Lightroom and send back, then you can email me at the togblog at gmail.com. From next week on, I'll be able to offer you a lot more than just a blog and a YouTube channel. So, really looking forward to that. That's it for now. Don't forget, I'll put the email address in the description again. If you're interested in photography, whether that be a learner or professional, whatever it might be, a lot of what we're going to be doing is about how to have fun with your camera, um, so when you're not working or when you are just got your camera, how to do some fun things. And we'll be sending you some challenges as well with competitions every week. Um, so for example, we'll be sending you the challenge of taking a certain kind of picture, um, and we'll be taking the entrance, giving out prizes. So this is Pori from the Tog Blog, and I'll see you next time. Stick around for some lots of exciting stuff to come. You will not be disappointed. See you next time. Bye-bye.